excuse the very messy table. I was gonna clean it before the video, but then mm -mm. I am feeling a little bit too lazy tonight. And um, excuse anything else. So um, I was initially going to show my face in this video, but I decided against it at last minute. I don't like the way I'm looking right now. And I want this camera a little bit higher so you can see more of the table. So let me get that set. I'm a little bit more comfortable with this. If you're new here, um, hello, uh, my name is Ruth. Welcome to Mr. Vart, which will be changed to Rishti's art shop, but soon, just now, right now, I haven't felt like it's hard to explain. Anyway, let's get into the video. Today, I finally decided to go into the Amazonian Mall, which was something that I didn't make time to go. I wanted to go, but I just never made time to go. So I finally made time. I went and I bought some stuff. And maybe I think I regret going a little bit because I ended up wasting close to $10,000 inside the shop. So I kind of have a little bit of regret there, but oh well. Um, I will just try to guess the prices for these stuff because I lost the bill. Or I'll, go, I'll just go look for it now. Yeah, uh, apart from making this video, I'm watching Final Destination, so if you hear any noises in the background, that's what it is. I've got the bill here in the book. Some of the expenses, and I'll tell you what, I just put under the business expense. If you don't know this, uh, well, I guess I should have mentioned this. I am sponsored by me, my own business or uh, Rushdie's art shop where I sell portrait painting or basically any painting that you want I sell I will be uploading some videos of the recent painting that I've done it was quite a handful so uh, to be honest I didn't buy this stuff from the Amazonian mall I bought it from Massey and Ma but Massey is right near it so I will be going back to the Amazonian mall to buy some stuff now first thing to get out of the way because this doesn't really contain the art and I didn't realize how expensive this was because like if I knew I wouldn't have bought it it was for $2,300 but I have it now so there's not really much I can do um, it's mine now so why I bought it I have to set up my portfolio to send in to someone trying to get a scholarship to go to this art school so that's a little bit. I, I was always afraid of this when I was small so I'm still afraid of it now so I'm going to be putting my portfolio in this lovely black binder that I hope I can cure. I've already dirtied it, so this just has to go to the side. And first thing that we're going to take out because there's so there's so much stuff left here. So what should we look at first? You know what? We look at paper first. So we have this um, canvas pad that you can use for any media. I need something to help me open this. Um, it's a slight bit of a blade, but you know, you can't really see the blade because I am hiding it. So I just need to get this open to get my finger. I have no nails, so there's no way I'd be able to open that. So, uh, plastic. I guess so that it doesn't get damaged or so I have a bigger version to this I believe it's the same brand I'll check later but no the one that I have is a little bit more different this the price for this royal art canvas pad um, it was 1280 um, the royal canvas pad 2.97 times 2 I don't know why they put that in there it is 280 grams uh, 10 sheets there's not really much to say about this other than I'm going to be afraid of wasting it so I have no idea what I'm going to paint tonight next we are going to check out pencil because of course how are you going to pick up paper and not pick up pencil you're going to need something to draw with now you don't necessarily need pencil and uh, you can pick up those um we well, usually we call them color markers but they're the wood markers we call them but they're color pencils so 
if you're not comfortable with using these mechanical pencils, you can go for your standard pencil. Oops. Sorry, I'm a bit messy with opening the packaging. And I am going to la I'm going to lose these teeny tiny cute erase. I was going to say last like anyway. Um I'm going to lose them. I am going to put them down somewhere and then I'm not gonna find it. So they already have um oh push from here. So they already have stuff inside. So we don't need to load anything in, we just need to put these up and I have a container right here. I'm just going to put them into and hopefully they stay there. And this was actually the cheapest thing that I have, no, the cheapest thing was cheese straws for 400 obviously I ate those. Um, these are like the second cheapest thing coming in at 450 Now next, what are we going to do next? Now. We have our pencil, we have our paper, we need paint. And the first thing I want to open is these watercolor paint. Oh, the package is damaged a little bit, so we just need to pull these out and also in plastic. Like I I I don't know, I do I already don't like the start of it where you have this brush here. I have one of these. I I saw it earlier while I was packing. I wonder if I could see it again, but it's like the, the moment I, I just saw this red brush here and my mood is like, this paint might not be good. Look, I have one right here. So seeing this brush makes me think, nope, this paint is not going to be good whatsoever. And I'm a little bit afraid of that. I forgot to block the blade because I got annoyed at seeing that paint. And the price for this, is um what is this again oh the watercolor pen keep smiling watercolor set for 12.50 and you know what i do have something to compare this to because i have this really cheap watercolor pen that i got from manishwar so we're going to compare the two and see which one is better i really wish it came I was gonna say I really wish it came with a cover, but I could just push it back into the box when I'm finished with it. But you know what, the other two are without cover, so this can go. But you know, you have these two, four, six. You have this 12 paint, but there's still not enough to choose from, so you need more paint. So you get a next set of paint. And the thing that caught my eye with this paint was seeing burnt sienna, burnt umber. So, I was yellow ochre. There's yellow ochre in here, and I am happy. I am happy seeing yellow ochre because I've never. I only have one troop of yellow ochre, and when that finished, I thought it would have been finished. So, we have, and I love how. I wonder if these are labeled too. Like, just watercolor and. The very color you want well we'll see about that so we have starting out with yellow um and i do like the way this is sort of packaged because if you don't know i like to go from yellow to orange to red except the rose red and the vermilion would need to switch places for me to feel happy so i like to go from yellow to orange to red to then the pink blue purple but when i hit purple i would rather go to um well actually i'd like to go purple then blue then green then brown then black and i usually like white closer to the yellow but it's at the end here so this is a lemon yellow and you can barely see the writing on it vermilion rose red i can't pronounce this word ultramarine Ult I, I can pronounce it sky blue sap green dark green burnt sienna burnt umber black white i i like how they feel it, this feels really nice this feels heavy i wonder if i'll have a place to pack them and i can't wait to open them to see how they actually look so 
Now you have your paint. You need paint brushes. Oh, I forgot to tell you the price for this paint. The price for this paint is um, the K Paint Poster Color 12 12 in a set. It was for $15.40. Um, $1,540. And then the last thing is the um, the flat. They call these flat brushes, but these are not flat brushes. These are round brushes. Oh, they were for $2,100 set. Well, this is pricey. Uh, I wonder if the mistake on the bill is what caused this here because this is not a flat brush. I know what the flat brush looks like and this is not a flat brush. So this was $2,100 and I'm worried that I just wasted money here on this. I'm not sure if it'll be good or not. I do want a fan brush. I have a angular brush. I have the uh, fiber type of brush and I love the wrong brushes. These are wrong brushes. You can clearly see that they are wrong brushes. I guess you can mistake them for line brushes too. And let's take a look at the sizes. We do have a variety of size starting with 12, obviously ending with 1. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, goes all the way up to 12. Of course, I'm going to take it out of the packaging, but let's just, just admire it how it's so clean and white. And now I'm just going to go take it out. And it is refreshing. I guess expensive brush is nice because usually when you take out a brush, and I'll show you, even though it's dirty now because I've been using it so often, um, who can I show you? This. Okay, to be honest. Penta Korea was an amazing brand and I hope I find it again. But there's another one that I like. <coughs> I don't really like it. I can't even remember the name of the brand. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this guy. Um, me compare the two. It's there's a drastic difference between, but it's an unfair comparison. I don't well these are the most expensive brushes that no they're not. I have two that were pretty pricey and that's a these two guy. I don't even know their name. They just have a number two and a number six written on it and I love them very much. Like these are the second most expensive brush that I own. And um if you can afford to buy this brush, I mentioned the brand Penta Korea, they, but I've never found them again and I wish I'd bought more but that was so long ago, that was like 2014-2015 so that was many many years ago and of course we have our dirty water here so let's get into swatching should I use the pad to swatch? I'm not sure.
these paints um let's start with what i have an issue with and then we're going to go into what i like and the first thing that i had an issue with is that if you can uh, see these brushes are sort of like frilling and you know for twenty one hundred dollars they should be better like this one is much is in sorry the camera the things over here this one is in a much awful condition this one over here and that's a size six the size seven and the size nine i don't like how it is but overall uh they're pretty good they're 2100 dollars so i'll make sure to take care of them i don't usually buy pen brushes like within this price range and they they do feel cheap and plasticky this feels like I can break this easy, whereas this guy is also cheap and plasticky, but at least this was actually cheap, so that's not the one I wanted to show you. This is the guy that I wanted to show you. This is wood, and this was cheap, so I hope I can find that brand again, but I'm not going to put the paint brushes away so fast because I will be doing a painting. Second thing that I find uh, infuriating was that when I was pouring the paint out, um, as you can see, it came out like watery. And I know you're going to say, hey, but it's water paint. I have other tubes of water paint. And it usually does not come out of the tube like that. Well, the really cheap one does. So I at first I was going to say that the quality is cheap. It's not nice. I don't like it. I was, that was, I had a bad opinion on it based on that first coming out of the tube but then I swatched them and they are amazing I like them I you know what they well I haven't swatched the white because to be honest white in watercolor is useless you want to go light you add more water you want to go dark you add more paint so with white being somewhat useless uh, the watercolors were amazing. I would definitely recommend you go buy this, but oh my, these colors, I, they, I swatched them. They, it was off camera, sort of, but the white, the, you can, it's so pretty. Even the yellow is so wonderful. It's so nice, and the thing is, it's just like a tiny amount of paint because it's so pigmented. A tiny amount of paint is going to take you a long way, and um... That concludes this video. I hope you guys liked it. If so, uh, you guys should just give us a like. And if you're new here, you're not subscribed to the channel. What are you looking at the video not being subscribed to the channel? You should definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on notification. And I forgot to show you this cool little pencil thing that I have here. That is also a light. That's a paw. And it holds my pencil. So you turn it on. Turned off. But that's also, that's not the only one that I have. This one here, uh, it has a little pocket up here that you can put stuff in. But it has a light here. That you can change that. You can, it's a bit dull because I didn't charge it. But that's not the only light. There's also a light to the side. Again, it's dull because I did not charge it. And it's a sharpener. It's really not that impressive, to be honest, but it's impressive enough for me. So, those are two pretty nice things that I have on the table. I've also got this uh, pencil pouch that I'm going to be using. It's a girl with an umbrella, and it said it's raining today. So, you open it, and ta-da! It has a pocket out here, but I'm not sure I'll be putting anything in that pocket. Uh, last thing that I have is my sketchbook, but I'll be showing that in a different video. If you're hearing the cat meowing, I don't know what the cat wants. I can't help it. I don't speak cat. So, it's going to continue to meow. Goodbye. Hope to see you guys again soon on the channel. And I will be making a video using this paint and this sketch pad. I like the sketch pad. The paint do take a while to dry. I think that's going to be the only downside about it is that it's going to take a while to dry but other than that I really like it and I can't wait to get into a painting video for you guys. Goodbye!